Good afternoon, everyone. This is On The Rock, and usually I say, Bishop Underwood, we're excited to be here, but he's not here with us, only in spirit. We're lifting him up. Hopefully he'll be with us soon. We're so excited to have our wonderful guest here, and I will be introducing them, or presenting them. We all know them because they're icons in our community. At this time, everyone, get your Bibles. Get your Bibles. We're going to the Word of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. As you know, I'm Reverend Dr. Evelyn Underwood, and we are going to the 16th chapter of St. Matthew's, uh, beginning at verse 13. And I'm reading from the King James Version of the Bible. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples saying, whom do men say that I, the son of man, am? And they say, some say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said unto them, but whom say ye that I am? Whom say ye that I am? <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, mm. the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed are thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee but my Father, which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock, this revelation knowledge, yeah. I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not, shall not, shall not, right. I prevail against it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Some people got it mixed up and say it was built on Peter. No. But we say that it was built up on Jesus the Christ, the Son of the living God. <laughs> yes. Yes. yes, Lord. We can't get it mixed up. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We're not going to start a new doctrine, Pastor. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Lord. We're ready. As uh, Bishop T.D. Jake says, get ready, get ready, get ready. Yeah. You know, when we have uh, Restoration Urban Ministries here, people are always excited because we always have something for you. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Something spiritual or something in the natural. Yes. I don't know this time. Yes, I kind of know, but I'm going <laughs> to let them tell you. We have here uh, Pastor Irvin Williams, uh, the pastor and the executive director of the um, of the uh, Restoration Urban Ministry and pastor of the church, yes. Restoration Church, hallelujah. And then we have Evangelist Gladys Hunt, uh, praise God, she's got so many titles. I'm going <laughs> to let her <laughs> uh, uh, elaborate. I know she has a master's degree in social work, <laughs> praise God, and she's doing so much good work over there. So I give you, hallelujah, Restoration Urban Ministries, director and a staff person there to uh, take the rest of the program over and give you uh, much information at this time. Yes, yes. I'm Sister Gladys, you want to go ahead and share? Okay, yes. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, she mentioned I wear so many hats <laughs> at Restoration. I'm the lead case manager of our transitional housing program where we have uh, homeless people in the communities, individuals and families live there. Uh, and I'm also a minister. And I minister in the classes that the um, residents take part in. Uh, I do the parenting and the relationship class. But we're here to talk to you about something really exciting today. <laughs> it's both spiritual and natural. Amen. Hallelujah. Because, <laughs> you know, it takes the spiritual to impact the natural. Yes, Lord. Amen. So we're having a wonderful, dynamic conference called Pursuing the Hidden Heart. Mm. And as I was thinking about how to, how to start out today, it came to me to just ask a question. Have you ever had something happen to you and you kind of hid it deep into your heart? 
and you can hide it so deep sometimes you can forget about it yourself. Well, this conference is called Pursuing the Hidden Heart. Uh, it's to help people get in touch maybe with hurts and pains and issues that have happened to them in life that are impacting their behavior now. Uh, some people uh, are abusing substances, they're having problems in relationships, they're having problems just coming to grips with so many things in their lives. So this conference again, and the people that are coming to the conference are coming from Alaska, they're coming from Tennessee, or is it, no, Kentucky. Uh, these are really dynamic teachers who have dealt with this topic for many, many years. The director himself, he's been all over the world teaching this class. And in fact, Pastor Williams and myself and seven other um, uh, staff people from Restoration went to Alaska last year and, and took the conference ourselves. So we're bringing it to Restoration on March uh, 7th through the 9th. That's a Thursday through a Saturday at Restoration Urban Ministries. And we're going to delve into so many issues that many of us have wanted to deal with for so long. And now is the time. Pastor. Yeah. One of the things that Sister Hunt brought up was people carrying their hurts and their pains. And I think and it has a way of bleeding over into the rest of your life. It doesn't matter who it is. Pain bleeds over. Yes. Hurt bleeds mm. over. Mm. Sometimes you don't, you're not even aware of it. I have a situation in my case where I, I, I just believe in the program. I've seen what it did, but I had been carrying a pain for 51 years. Yes. And that's a long time to carry mm. and to feel. And I was convinced that it was my fault, that I had done something wrong, and I walked in the shame and guilt of that for 51 years. Yeah, it was that. during this program that some things began to come up in me to begin to give me a better picture of what was going on. And I started realizing I had been carrying this for that long. Now here's the problem. It does tend to bleed over. Because at that point, because of that and several other things that was going to me about that time, it's just that I felt myself pulling away. I didn't want to be leadership. I didn't want to be involved in programs. And I, I never knew why I felt that way until that day. Mm -hmm. And when it came up, I, even though I would force myself to do things, that was always there in the back of my mind that there's something wrong. I'm going to get hurt. Uh, I'm going to do something to hurt someone else. Mm -hmm. And as a result of this here, there was a great load lifted off. There was a freedom that came. Mm -hmm. And if you walked on planet Earth, you've picked up some hurt. Yes. You've picked up some pain. Yes. You've got some guilt and you've got some shame. Yes. And we're encouraging people that not to continue to carry that. Uh, one of the things that Jesus speaks of, he asked a, a layman, do you want to be whole? All right. And that was one of the major mm. things right there. Do you want to be whole? Your mm -hmm. mind, spirit, and your body. And the thing is, when we're whole, we're able to reach our full potential. Yeah. Yes, yes. And, and so what are some of the behaviors that we might see of people who are carrying hurts and pains and, and things that maybe happened to them during childhood? As, as Pastor said, so many times when you're a child and things happen, you think it's your fault. Yes, yes, children, yes. children tend to do that. Yes. And so what happens is we kind of bury, again, yes. that deep inside. Yes. And even though we're uh, fully mature and grown, we tend to act out in ways yes. that sometimes we don't see. But what, yes. what might that look like? People may overeat, they yes. may smoke, uh, they may uh, abuse uh, drugs, mm -hmm. it could be prescription drugs or other drugs, or they just may have snappy answers. They may have deep hidden anger that they're wondering, well, why did I say that or why did I do that? And have regrets about how they interact with people. So this conference will help you get to the point where you're, again, healed and whole, and you can have healthy relationships. Yes. You can form healthy bonds, and it, it helps you just get rid of a lot of division that might be in your life or confusion, and even you're confused about why it's there. Yeah, one of the things that, uh, that's there, sarcasm is a big one there, mm -hmm. because a lot, of people are very, a lot of people are very sarcastic, and they assume that they're being funny. 
and what they're doing is being hurtful. Yes. But if you look at it, it goes back to something else. There's a reason why people respond that way. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, at one point I was a very sarcastic person, so I can <laughs> say that, and that snappy, quick remarks that always hurt. Yes. And, uh, and I thought, well, that's cool. Never concerned about anyone else. But the pain and the hurt was there, and I never knew it. Yes, yes. And as I mentioned, a lot of this happens to us when we're children. There yes, might be all kind yes. of abuse, verbal abuse, physical abuse, sexual abuse, the things that happen to us. And as Pastor said, you can't walk on this earth and not have those life wounds. That's You're going right. to get wounded and hurt some kind of way. And so how do you deal with it? We tend to deal with it the way our family members dealt with it. Alcoholism tends to run in families. Yes. Substance abuse now tends to run in families. There's so many things that run in families because the way we deal with our hurt and our pain, we teach our children to do the very same thing. So this is a way of becoming healed. First, to become aware of yes. what those things might yes, be right. that you've hidden deep inside of yourself. And then to become whole, become healed, and then you can be a better parent, a better spouse, a better co-worker, a better community member. You just become healed and whole, and all that energy you were using, you know, to be, to be sarcastic or to overeat or drink or whatever the, the situation may be, or just to hold it inside. Some people just hold it inside, and there might not even be an outward indicator that something is there but you know it's there. Like yes. Pastor said, you know that something's yes. there that you, know, that you need to deal with. So here's a time, and it's, this is incredible. This is a life-changing conference, and we're just saying, don't miss it. Don't miss it. This is your opportunity for God to help you deal with those issues that you've been praying about. You've been praying to the Lord, just crying out to Him, Lord, help me. Well, here's an opportunity. Come and, and be in the conference with us. Again, that's going to be March the 7th through the 9th. That's going to be Thursday, Friday, and, sa and Saturday. Uh, we're going to be there from 8 o'clock in the morning till 6 p.m. Uh, we're going to have large group activities. And then there are going to be small group activities where you, you've, uh, um, in these small group activities, it's really a safe place, a nurturing place where you can deal with that. Because one of the reasons why we don't deal with that thing is because it's not safe. Yes. We're afraid that if we, you know, let it out yes. or we tell people about it, then we might get more criticism. We might get hurt even more. But this is a safe place where you can deal with that. You can explore what's going on deep inside of yourself. What's in the back of your mind that even you've hidden from yourself? You can explore those things and become more healed, more whole and more able to have the relationships that you desire in your life. Oh, praise God. Amen. Sounds really great. Amen. Sounds really great. And maybe, uh, you know, some organizations, you know, can help some of their people. Absolutely. You know, to uh, be able to attend because it's worth it, you know. Absolutely. To help uh, Absolutely. people to be whole. Absolutely. Uh, and some Absolutely. churches, you know, can help members of their church. Yes. You know, yes. to be able to attend. Yes. Uh, 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 because right now, uh, a lot of people are hurting. They, a lot and, of people are and, hurting. And it's up to us as uh, faith-based. Uh, 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 I can see now, you know, I'm, I've been going to a lot of meetings of late, and, and it's time for us as faith-based people, I mean organizations too, but I mean faith-based people, yes. to step up to the plate Amen. and help our people. Absolutely. You know, yes. and uh, sometimes, I mean, you know, there are costs associated, uh, but it's worth it. Yes. It's worth yes. it yes. Uh, to help our people to be whole. Yes. You know, we need to step up to the plate yes. and help our people to be whole. Absolutely. Uh, I, I, it's important. It's oh, important so to deal important. with the whole man. It We've is. We've got to. Yes. We've got to. Yes. Uh, in these last and evil days. Yes. 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 And we're bringing uh, the staff people from Alaska, as I yes. mentioned earlier, from Kentucky. And I think we got even one of the uh, uh, per people are coming from Washington. So there are co costs involved yes. in this. Yes. So, but like you said, it's worth, worth it. it. We've it's got to it. help our people. We spend money whole. on so many things. Yes, that's what right. about helping ourselves become more whole? That's right. Become healthier people. Yes. Who, and also a healthier community. Yes. And so one of the things that we're asking 
as for people to donate to, to this conference. And not only donate, but even our own residents who live in our transitional housing program, we're asking people to sponsor one or several of, of our uh, residents. It might be your small group, your church group, yes. your uh, fraternity, your sorority, uh, your business, whatever it is that you might want to uh, uh, use to sponsor people for the conference. We would like for you to know, too, that if you're interested, you can, all, you can go online and go to www.RestorationUrbanMinistries. There's a link that will lead you directly to the information on the conference. You can even online, you can, uh, I think we, we have PayPal there. You can go there. It will just guide you there and uh, make a, a donation or even pay for uh, yourself to come and attend the program itself. Right, right. And you can also call us at our office, too. Yes. Area code 217-355-2662 and talk to Tina or either one of us uh, and ask about registration or donation or just to get more information about the program. It's just so important for us to be whole. Amen. Yes. Amen. The faith-based community as well as leadership. Mm -hmm. Because we've got to behold ourselves Amen. before we can reach out to others. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And I like what I heard you say, Sister Underwood. We have to, we have to minister to the whole person. Yes. We just can't minister to one part and leave the other part yes. undone. And that's what this conference does. It ministers to the whole person. And this what you know we're uh, talking about more now in the faith-based community. You know we're saved to go to heaven. But we're not going right away. Amen. We've got to live here on this earth. Amen. And as pastors say, we need to be whole Amen. as we live here on this earth. We've got to be whole, mm -hmm. you know, with guilt and uh, shame mm -hmm. and all this weighing us down. Yes. It's not a, it's not a hap a whole life is not a life of joy. We can't have a life of joy with all of this holding us down. And we have, when we have an opportunity yes. to uh, become a whole person, mm -hmm. uh, we yes. need to take mm -hmm. those opportunities to go to conferences and, and yes. be a part of something that's going to help to make us whole. Amen. So Amen. this is a great opportunity. Mm -hmm. And that's why Jesus died. Yes. He didn't die for us to hold on to all the guilt and no. shame and pain. He took that on the cross. Yes. So yes. why are we holding on to that's it? Right. So, so this is an opportunity yes. for us to give it up. Yes. To come yes. clean yes. and let it go. Yes. But sometimes we don't know how. It's so deep right. in some of us right. that we don't know how to let it go. Yes. You know? and this is a perfect opportunity to do that. If, if I may, could I say it? It's kind of like an, the analogy I was thinking of was a tick and that you may not be aware of a tick that's connected to you and yet he's doing damage but you're not aware of it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes uh, a tick also leaves other diseases and other things but you may not be aware of it. So what you do is you go on about your business, you do the best that you can because you're unaware of that thing that's robbing you of the very life itself. Sucking the life that's out right. of you. Yes. Oh. Yes. Yes. And mm -hmm. we may not be aware of it. Just if I take a minute, and I'm sitting here listening, and I thought about Jesus again, and I thought about what the program means. If you go back and you look at Jesus, you can come up with person after person after person. You can look at the woman with the issue of blood. You can imagine what her self-esteem was like. And then Jesus comes, Jesus healed, but Jesus also makes her whole. She yes. spent her entire life telling people, stay away from me, mm. get back, mm. you know, and shamefully telling people, you know, I can't participate. But there's so many others. You have the prostitute that mm. came to Jesus, mm. you know, so everyone knew what she was. You know, she's carrying that pain, she's carrying that guilt, she's carrying that hurt. Then Jesus comes along, mm. and Jesus makes her whole. Amen. And Jesus, in front of everybody, says, if any of you here done anything wrong, then you know, you, if you haven't done anything wrong, then you cast the stone. Yes. You no the one could one. do it. Yes. That, right. that helps to bring her back up mm -hmm. and for them to see her on the same level. But she would never reach her potential. 
she would have never got, right. but we don't know what she did. We don't know what the story is yeah. about her or the woman with the issue of blood, but they walked away again whole. Oh. So now they could go forth, yeah. they can live a full life, and who knows how many people they share the gospel mm -hmm. with. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen, Pastor. Amen. And it's like the people who are committing the violence, we said reduction of violence in mm -hmm. the community, the people who are committing the violence, you know, yes. uh, we don't know their story, That's you right. know. Uh, maybe some person need to be whole. Amen. Amen. But what, like you said, keeping it in, we're doing mm -hmm. violence to ourselves. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. We're doing violence to, to ourselves. ourselves. We're killing ourselves. We're killing ourselves. Yeah. Rather, yes. uh, rather than uh, uh, killing the community, uh, killing in the community, we're killing ourselves. Yeah. yeah. And we need to stop all the violence. Yeah. We, yeah, need, we to need to stop, stop it all, violence. whether it's internal, yeah. whether it's outside. Yes. Yes. Amen. The, you know, this is a way to deal with what's yes. going on uh, inside of us yes. that's creating all of these, yes. you know. Yes. Yes. So we can, we can deal with this. This is a start. This yeah. is a start. Yeah. And we'd love for you to be with us in this conference and uh, just come and, and see how the Lord can touch you during this conference. Yes, Lord. Yes. Thank you. There, there's a weapon that sometimes we mention it and sometimes we don't. It's called the tongue. Mm. It's amazing how many people we hurt because of this little thing. Mm. Here. Mm. It's, ama it's amazing how many people we literally destroy ah. our lives because of this here. Mm -hmm. How many people out there has had someone, instead of a gun, you know, blast them with the tongue, yes. said things, derogatory mm -hmm. things, anything that tear them down, make them feel like they're no one. Mm -hmm. you, we, we can't even count the mm -hmm. numbers out there. Mm -hmm. And then that person there has to go on in the best way they can mm -hmm. to try to continue their life. Yes. But they're carrying that load. Mm -hmm. They're carrying what was deposited there mm -hmm. on them. Mm -hmm. And so again, we, you know, we think this is excellent because it gives us a chance to really look deep at those things. Yes. I really believe that every man, woman, boy, and girl was 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 created in God's likeness yes. and in God's image. That's so that's there is right. something the that God wants them yes. to do. Yes. There is they have purpose on this earth. Mm. But those things can get in the way mm -hmm. and keep them from realizing who they really mm -hmm. are and mm -hmm. what they're capable of achieving. Mm -hmm. Amen. I Amen. wish we could just go out to the community and get them one by one yes. and just and just others and just never stop. Mm -hmm. And yes. imagine what our country would look mm, like amen. if we didn't have all the shame, mm -hmm. the pain, and the hurt mm -hmm. that's there. Amen. Mm -hmm. You know, the scripture that comes to mind to me is the one where it talks about deep cries out to deep. Yes. Mm -hmm. Deep cries out to deep. Mm -hmm. So this is, we can cry out to the Lord mm -hmm. in, a, in a deep way yes. and get at the root of yes. what's going ah. on yes. inside of us mm -hmm. so that we can achieve the or we can get that healing that Jesus died for. Yes. He died for us yes. to have joy and to have healing mm -hmm. and to have a good life, not to be, you know, uh, without joy and without peace and, and you know. And so. weighed it down with shame and Ooh, guilt and abasha. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Jesus, my yes. Lord. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Ooh. Yes, so this, this is an opportunity. Amen. All we need to do is uh, uh, reach out to that um, uh, 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 website. Mm -hmm. we got a website. We got a phone. Um, uh, we can take that phone call, make mm -hmm. that phone call, uh, go to the website. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank mm -hmm. you, Jesus. And take advantage of the opportunity. I think it's March the 7th through the 9th, is it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um, and you at know, Restoration Urban Ministries. At Restoration Urban Ministries. And, and everybody I, know where that is. Is it uh, 1211 Parkland? 1213. 1213. <laughs> You're there at 1211, too, so that's okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just feel it in my heart that the Lord is, is speaking to someone out there in TV land and, and telling you that uh, you, can, you can donate to this. You, you have enough. Uh, you know, you, you, you have enough resources and God is tugging at your heart and telling you this is good ground. You can invest in this. This is something you can do to help your, not only yourself, but your community as well. Amen. 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 And that's what Jesus wants us to do. Amen. Help Amen. others. And, uh, and, and they're, um, a lot of resources yes. in this community, it a is. lot of resources in this community. We were at uh, the coalition uh, the other uh, uh, day, and they were saying, you know, there were so many 
agencies there that uh, they want to take the opportunity uh, to reach out to others. And I know this program go out, it's on uh, uh, YouTube. I was looking at a lot of, you know, and um, mm -hmm. uh, it's on uh, Facebook Live and, and, and some of the agencies can take the opportunity that people there are trying to help mm -hmm. and they can reach out and, and send some of the people that they know who need this yes, uh, yes. Uh, to uh, 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 to take advantage of this opportunity. Right. And, uh, right. Yes. and like you said, it's for all helping professionals. Yes. Whether you're a counselor, you're a caseworker, yes. you're a social worker, you're a psychiatrist, oh, yes. this is something that can help you help the people, people. that you help. Yes. This yes. is something that can give you more information about how you can maybe, you know, structure your program or either. Uh, you know, donate so they can come. What the director of this program has said is that he would like to see this done on a regular basis and this be the spot for Central Illinois for yes. this conference to happen on a regular basis. Maybe train, train in the train on. Yes, yes, <laughs> absolutely. Yes, 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 yes. Because once you can get help, you can help others. That's it. And that's what it's all about. Amen. Praise God. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Praise God. Well, I'm, I'm convinced that, as you said, this goes out everywhere. And if we, just for a second, I, I just know that there's somebody out there, maybe just turning channel surfing, mm. that may be watching this here. And you, excuse me, you feel like nothing. Mm. You feel like you spent your entire life being dumped on. Mm. There never seems to be a break. Everything seems to go wrong. Nothing seems to come together. And you may even say, you know, why was I born in the first place? Mm, I you know, it. nothing good has ever happened. Mm. I'm just sorry, you know, because, that I was ever born. And there are people out there, and you may be one of them, but you know, you got to start someplace. Mm -hmm. This was never God's plan for you. God's word says per He love you, and God desire to make you whole, and God wants you to know His peace and His joy, and He also wants you to know there's purpose in your life. Mm -hmm. He says in one scripture, I know the thoughts I have for you, yes. the plans. They're, they're to do mm -hmm. you good, not to do you harm. So we know how God feels about each one of us. Yes. Here, all you got to do is, is call, go on the line, and, and begin and let something happen because here's what it means. It means that it doesn't matter what you've done up to this point. God forgives. Amen. And now you can drop the weight and you can begin a fresh new life and look and see just how much God loves you and the blessings that he want to pour out in your life. Yes. So we want to encourage you to come. And you know, it says pursuing. So if for some reason you couldn't get here, continue to pursue, pursue, <laughs> mm. yes. pursue, pursue. Don't give up mm. because there's a plan for you. Mm. And I believe God just wants to make you whole. Yes. The hidden heart, pursuing the hidden heart. Yes. Ooh, something that's been hidden sometimes for yes. so long. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So deep. Yes. And maybe... Uh, these professionals can help you to reach it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, and your life can be changed. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm, the guilt. Yeah. Oh, mm, 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 mm. the shame. Yes. Because sometimes people are living with it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And don't even know it sometimes. It's the, so deep. It's so, so deep. They you know, it's so mm -hmm. deep in their heart, they've mm. forgotten about it. Mm, mm, but it's mm, like it's like pastors say, that tick, it's still there. Mm, mm, mm. And it's doing damage. Mm, some people don't know what a tick is, though, Pastor. You might have to. <laughs> <It's a book. laughs> They're sucking the it's life sure. out of them. <laughs> it attaches itself to you and it uh. feeds on your life. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because it sucks the very blood. Blood out of mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The old folks used to know about it, but yes. some of these young people. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but it sucks the blood out of you. You yes. don't even know it. Yes. Oh, right. Jesus. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. Mm. But wholeness is there. Yes, Jesus Lord. died so that we could be whole, so yes, we could Lord. be healed, yes. and so yes. we could have joy and peace. Yes, Lord. Will you give uh, the uh, website again before? Uh... You can reach us at www.restorationurbanministries.net, and it will give you the links from there. And while you're there, you just may want to just look at what's going on at Restoration. There's a lot going on there. Right. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Right. And yeah. our phone number, did you want me to give that? Yes, quickly? please. It's area code 217-355-2000. 217-355-2000. 
1-800-242-2662. Amen. Thank you all for coming. Try. You might, it might be what you're looking for. Maybe what you've been looking for all your life. Yes. In addition to Jesus, this is a great opportunity. We love you. Thank you all for coming. Thank God you bless for having you. us. God, God bless, bless you. you.